and we're off. It's the start of another week, Monday morning, bright and early, just gone about 20 past five. So out for six miles this morning, bit of a recovery run after having yesterday off, but recovering really from those 20 miles I did Saturday later on. So I've not had much rest. So this is just a bit of a recovery run. Kickstart the week off in a positive way, out running. So halfway in now, three miles done and just a bit of a light drizzle in the air but oh, I can't get over how mild it is, it's like 17 degrees, um, I was expecting it to be a lot colder when I came out the front door this morning but um, nice, um, nice and mild, perfect running conditions really so enjoying it. Monday morning, run all done, six miles and a bit of a stretch off at the end. Oh, right, home for breakfast. So the hill in the background is my hill for hill repeats this morning. I've done a mile warm up to get myself down here. Run up and down this hill for three miles, about 80% effort and then it'll be a mile to get myself home as my warm down. It's a real blustery morning, just starting to rain a little bit as well, so let's get these hill repeats done. Oh, so that's the first two done, and in between the hill reps, I'm just doing a jog recovery back down the hill. And um, the hill reps are lasting for about a minute, 60 seconds of effort, as I say, at about 80%. Oh, but my um, lungs and legs are certainly burning once I get to the top of them but always with these I find a good sign that your running is going well is how quick you recover so it's not that far to get down for a jog recovery but by the time I'm at the bottom my breath's back my legs are feeling fresh again and ready to go so it's always a good sign that your fitness is good when you recover quickly I'm saying that now, by the end of the eighth one, might be a different story, but so far so good. Oh, that's four done now, so still feeling good. Um, if anything, feeling a bit, a bit stronger on that fourth one. I um, decided to stop looking at the ground and actually get my head up and concentrate a bit on my running form. So I felt better that fourth one, so I'm going to continue with that. So I'm just coming to the bottom of the hill to turn for my sixth and final hill. So big effort to finish this training session off. Let's go. Oh, I see it done. Oh, oh, the sixth oh, and final one done. Oh, right. Jog recovery for about a mile now just to get myself home. Ooh, good session. So that's the run all done. Five miles in all. Just starting to rain now, so I'm gonna get myself into the dry, get some breakfast down me, and off to work. Good morning. I am just waiting for the old Garmin to sink before heading out my morning run and um, just five miles recovery run this morning and um, just to recover from the efforts from the last couple of days so come on Garmin come on
So again, run all done. Nothing really much to write home about. Just over five miles. <sighs> it's a bit breezy today. No rain though, but still really mild. So um, nice to still be out in shorts and t-shirts rather than having to start wrapping up for these winter runs. So good to get it done. Wednesday's run, all done. Oh, so it's Friday morning and um, done a school run and then straight out for this morning run. Just four miles planned, uh, nice and flat, but um, down by the canal and around the lake. So it should be quite a nice run. And it's nice to be out running in the light, getting up doing all these early morning runs with your head torch in the dark. It, um, it becomes a little bit grey and boring because you're running on the pavement and it's just a early morning traffic so to get out in the sunshine get on the trails this friday morning is bliss so looking forward to this little run That's my run done, four steady miles, nothing too crazy as I've got a long run tomorrow, but um, nice to get on the sunshine, get some miles under the belt, get the old legs going again, so nice run. So good morning, it's Saturday morning and out for my long run, um, 16 miles planned, uh, getting it in nice and early as I've got stuff planned for the rest of the day so as ever fitting these runs in where you can to get them done but getting that happy balance where it doesn't kind of take over too much. So yeah 16 miles planned, it's just starting to spit with rain a little bit so I've waterproofed up right from the beginning and just taking this run nice and easy steady pace some good time on my feet and getting their miles in as well so as you can see i'm running in the dark and this run ideally i wanted to do most of it on the trail so getting up so early means it's pretty much pitch black when you get away from the street lights but the sun will be coming up in about 40 minutes so I know this trail quite well so I've decided to brave it with the help of my head torch um, and this the sky We'll start to line up pretty soon, so I'll be able to see where I'm going, but just need to keep my wits about me. Really need to concentrate, because the ground is obviously really uneven, so watching where my feet are going, so don't roll an ankle or anything silly like that. <sighs> right, so I best take my own advice there and concentrate, rather than running and talking, so back to it. So I've had a little plan with this little section of trail so I'm almost going to do kind of like hill repeats along it just so I keep on the trail rather than um, venturing back onto the pavement. Um, just starting to rain however the sky is just starting to line up um, so I'll soon be able to see where I'm going a lot better 
compared to when I first came off the road down onto this trail. So this bit of trail goes from the bottom of the road and climbs up through the fields um, right up to a mobile phone pylon I think it is at the top so just do a couple of reps of these so I'm staying on the the off-road there's a couple of styles and gates to go through which breaks your rhythm up a little bit practice getting up these hills practice getting down these hills so do a couple of reps of this little bit It'd be quite beneficial I think so that's what I'm gonna do So I've been out for just over 40 minutes now and as you can see the sky is starting to lighten up already I can see where I'm going I don't really need the old head torch I'll turn that off and take it off in a minute but I've done my second hill repeat up to there's like a telegraph um, telephone pylon so I'm working my way from the road up to that I think I'm just going to stick on this you know um, it's good for the old legs getting the hills in some really uneven ground which again tests your legs and your concentration so I think I'm just going to hill repeat it for the 16 miles um, it might seem a little bit boring but actually that's kind of challenge in itself to keep focused um, on where you're going and what you're doing so I think that's it mine made up staying on this trail as I come over that style there for the full run well right until the end where I'll come off it to get myself home so the 16 miles is done not long hit five miles 50 minutes so I'm gonna get a gel on board what color what color we got purple one doesn't really tell what the flavor is black currant flavor so get one of these on board every sort of 45 50 minutes just to keep the energy levels ticking over as I've come out again on this run fasted just a kind of pint and a half of water um, and then straight out to the run so nice to top the energy levels up with some gels about every 45 50 minutes well that's what works for me so as you can see I've got company on this little route now there's loads of inquisitive young cows but just don't know whether to run away from me or run towards me so I'm hoping it's gonna be the first one run away I just hit 12 miles so forced to go the legs are starting to burn a little bit now with all these hills but a good session we just four miles to go just got to kind of hang on in there keep the effort going and work it through to the end so I've nearly hit 15 miles and just left the trail really for the first time um, since starting those hill repeats so we've got a bit of a climb up here on the pavement and then downhill to take me home for the 16 miles <coughs> that's the run done a little bit of rain for that last mile and a half to cool me down oh, to bring me home so a good effort that a good workout fair bit of elevation um, on those hills there and some good speed and practice running down them as well so all good fun, run done for Saturday. Oh. 